I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and at last he will stand upon the earth. And after my skin has been thus destroyed, then from my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. My heart faints within me, for we walk nothing to the world, and we cannot take anything out of the world. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. For those of you who don't know me, I am the proud, proud, proud pastor of this glorious church. My name is Pastor Sherry Gay Green. We greet you with the joy of the Lord. For this family, we just want you to know that we're praying for you and that you have a uh, deepest sympathy. We will, at this time, follow the program as it is printed. And at this time, we will go to the Lord in prayer. Let us bow in. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise you, we glorify you, for we are reminded what your word say, and that is blessed are they who die in the Lord. And so Father God, we just ask you just to bless this family. Bless Brother George. Bless the sisters. Bless all relatives. Bless friends and family, including the church family. Because Sister Lola touched hearts from near and far. So Father God, we just thank you for this opportunity of celebration of life. She preached her own funeral. She proved that she loved you. And God, we thank you for a wonderful saint as Sister Lola Morgan. And Father God, we ask you to bless this service. Everything that will be done will be to praise you and give you the glory and the honor. And continue to touch this family as they go back to their several homes. Let them know that you'll never leave them nor forsake them. And Father God, if there's anything that should have been added to this prayer, I thank you that you know all things. Yes. Because you're a God who sits high and looks low. And we thank you, Lord, for all that you've done. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And all of God's children say. Amen. 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 At this time, we will have a scripture by Reverend Kenneth Chenault, followed by a musical selection by Sister Donna Ford Kelly. Amen. Amen. I'm going to come from the book of John 14, verse 1. 
verses 1 through 3. Let not your heart be troubled. When you believe in God, believe also in me. For in my house, my father's house, there are many mansions. And if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto my own. Yes. That where I am, there ye may be also. Amen. God bless the reading of his most holy word. Sanctify me.
visits, flowers, <coughs> thoughts, and prayers have all helped greatly during our time <coughs> of grief. May God continue to bless each of you is our prayer. Amen. Amen. And we'd like to thank Brother Keith Clark and Son Funeral Home for all their services and their professionalism and their friendly, friendly disposition. Anywhere you go, you must always see them just happy. Amen. Amen. Just thank them. Them, amen, for all that they do for this community. We will now have our resolution. Richmond Predestinarian Church, 209 East Urban Street, Richmond, Kentucky, 40475. May not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it was not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. Now 14, 1, 2, 3. Elder Raymond Walker and the members of the church was deeply saddened by the passing of Sister Lola Morgan. She was a busy, a very faithful member <coughs> until her health began to fail. Amen. Sister Lola was a Sunday school teacher choir member, Amen. member of the women's club, Amen. kitchen committee, Amen. clerk, and did everything she could do for the church. Amen. She loved the church, Amen. and we loved her, Amen. and will miss her dearly. Amen. Our condolences and prayer for her son, brother George, and family. In everything, give thanks, right. for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18. Done by the order of the church, Pastor Elder Raymond Walker, clerk, Sister Louise Turner. Amen. 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 Thank God for that. We also have one. St. Paul African Methodist Episcopal Church, 437 Francis Street, Richmond, Kentucky, 40475. To the family of Sister Lola Morgan, whereas we the members of St. Paul African Methodist Episcopal Church in Richmond, Kentucky, provide this resolution of respect in memory of Sister Lola Morgan. Whereas God has called her from the trials and tribulations of this world, Sister Lola Morgan, we offer you our prayers and heart and felt condolences at her passing. Whereas Sister Lola was a precious sister and beloved mother, we express to you the comfort of words, hugs, and love, knowing Sister Lola loved the Lord, and she is with him resting. Peacefully and free from all pain and sorrow. Yes, yes. Be it resolved that Sister Lola's sweet smile and kindness will be truly missed by our church family. Yes. Be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution will be given to the family and a copy placed in the church records. Done this day, Sunday. November the 24th, 2024, respectfully submitted, Reverend Sherry Gay Green Pastor and Sister Adrienne Todd, Secretary. Amen. 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 Am
We just want to thank God again for Sister Logan, Sister Lola. We just know that she is not in pain anymore. And uh, we'll talk more about uh, Sister Lola. What a sweet spirit. It was such, she was just a person just to be in the company of because however you felt, if you yeah. felt bad, you were going to leave yeah. feeling bad. She didn't complain, always smiling. I said, we need more of the morning. If you can see me now, if you can see me now, you wouldn't shed a tear. Though you may not understand why I'm no longer here. Remember my spirit. That's the real me. I'm still very much alive. Oh, if you could only see. I beheld I father's face. I've touched my Savior's hand. The angels all rejoice as I enter the promised land. Beyond the gates of pearl, I walk on golden streets. I've touched the walls of jasper, dip my foot in the crystal sea. The beauty is beyond words. Nothing can compare. I've even seen your mansion someday. I will be you there. Yes. Allow Jesus to be your guide. His word will show you the way. So please don't cry. Yeah, yeah. We will meet again someday. Yeah. Sister Hetsy Stambaugh Hetsy. Amen. 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 Are there any visiting ministers in the congregation today? Any visiting ministers?
this house to the Spanish.
for me. May the life that I live speak for me. And if there is ever a person who did that, it was Sister Lola. So I don't have to try to find words. I don't have to try to just think of something to make you feel good because she loved the Lord. Hallelujah. And she was working on a building a true foundation. She would tell you if anybody asked, I'm going up yonder to be with the Lord. I would go to the hospital. The last first time that I went to the hospital was at the University of Kentucky. And they had given her up. And uh, I told uh, Sister Marshall, I said, you know, it ain't over to God say it's over. So I shared with them what the scripture said, if there's sick or any sick among you or nothing but oil, and I asked them, can I just do that? And she said, yes. Yeah. So we prayed, and I anointed Sister Lola, and the doctors came in, and they were looking at the machines, and the machine was beeping, and you could kind of look at them and just say, well, it may not be long. Well, the next day that I went to the University of the Hospital in the ICU, she was in her right mind. She was talking. I said, Sister Lola, what a mighty God we serve. I said, how are you doing? She said, I'm doing fine, Pastor. She said, Turn on that BET channel for me. <laughs> now they thought she was going to check out the night before y'all. But I tell you, if God has the final word, and God said not yet, sister, and she was blessed, and I said, Lord, have mercy. So then I would go to the facility to see her. And sometimes I had to come back because I forgot that she had dialysis on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Right. And one day I went and they were just bringing her off the ambulance. I looked in there and she said, hey! <laughs> now you know it takes a lot out of you to be on dialysis. But she greeted me with a hey! I said, hallelujah! She would always smile, so I walked in and I said, how are you doing? Can I get anything? I know you drained. And she would never complain. Right. She was just always upbeat, even through the sickness that she encountered. Why? Because she knew somebody that was going to take care of her, and if it didn't work out down here, she knew it's still going to be all right. Because she was working to hear the Lord say, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. When I told her, I said, You make me want to just really straighten up even more. Because if you can go through those things and not complain, I can't even complain about this little toe ache or headache or whatever. And I would go, and we would have, uh, sometimes the church would go over, and we'd do an activity, play bingo with them. And we always, she said, Pastor, that lady over there, that man over there, he needs prayer. Can you go over there and pray? I said, most definitely. And we would end up having church in the bingo. Because she just loved the Lord. She had her mind made up. If anybody asks you what's the matter with me, tell them I'm saved, sanctified. And Sister Lola knew God. If nobody else knew God, that woman knew God. She impressed me and it just allowed me to know that if you really know who Jesus is, that whatever you go through, through pain, through sickness, through the distress, and she knew that God was on her side. And she knew if she was going to check out, she didn't have to worry about it because she knew she was going to hear him say, Well done. 
She knew there would be no more pain, no more suffering, no more sickness. Right. Oh, she loved her family, her son, oh, her yes. sister, but she was working for a new body. Amen. And that is exactly what the Lord done for her. And you know, we get it mixed up. The Bible tells us to cry right. when the babies are born. Right. And what we do, all oh, we cut them and kiss them. Right. And they're so precious. But we should cry, the Bible says, right. when babies come into the world because they come into a world of evil. They just don't know what they have to encounter. And we should, uh, and we should rejoice, especially those who, that you know die in the Lord. We should be saying, Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. We always the same. Go march in hand. And I know when she crossed those pearly gates, and when she saw Jesus, I know she had that big, beautiful. And all Bobby said was, Amen. I made it home. Hallelujah. So I know you're going to miss mom. I know you're going to miss your sister. I know you're going to miss your friend. But if we all could just be had like Sister Lola Mark, Morgan, we will be all right. Amen. I tell you, she was just. If there was more Lola's in the churches everywhere, oh, we will have a great church everywhere. There wouldn't be any type of division if there was more Sister Lola Morris. So to this family and to the congregation, be not dismayed whatever the time God will take care of you. And if you have never ever accepted Jesus as Lord, oh, you ought to do it before you leave out of this these doors. Amen. Because one of these days we're going to have to cross the same path. And the question is, will you be ready? He come for the babies. He comes for the teenagers. He comes to be in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 90s, 100. But the question is, whenever he comes, when he calls your name, will you be ready? Beloved, there is a heaven and there is a hell. So we have the choice to decide where are we going? Right. I don't know about you, but every day, I just got to make me better. Forgive it anything not knowing it. So I can hear him say, like I believe the Lord said to the Lord, well done, thou good and faithful servant. May God bless you, family. We want you to know that we're just a phone call away. Brother George, you got my number. We've talked many times, even before your mom got as sick as she was. So you already know how to get in touch with me. And God bless you, young man. You love your mom. And you proved that. I've seen you go get her and just push her in here and didn't have any if any frowns on your face, whatever you could do for your mother, you did. And God's going to bless you because the Bible says to honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long. That's why some of the young folks are checking out, because they're not honoring their mother and their father. Jesus loves you, and I so what we need to do is get right church, stay right, and let's go home. And I'm looking forward to finding Sister Lola and so we can rejoice in a great getting of
of morning. My prayers are with you. And may God bless all of you with peace, with comfort, with love, and with joy. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. At this time, we ask recessional and the commitment will be given by Reverend Kenneth Chanel. Inasmuch as it has pleased Almighty God in his wise providence to take out of this world unto himself the soul of our deceased sister, yes. mother, and friend. Yes. We therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. For of his poor, the saint said the saints that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. May God bless his reading of his word. Amen. And bless his family. Let us stay at all except the family as we do our benediction. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. May God's comfort and may God's strength rest upon each and every one yeah. in Jesus' name. Amen.